for years I've I've been well aware the very first you know aspects of my shooting and shooting from a shooting from a bench rest we've been led to believe that we have to have a certain stance a certain hold and whatnot to do with the rifle here's here's the position that we've been led to believe we need to have our hand back here we need to have our hand back here like this to shoot off of a bench and if I if I sat here at the bench with my hand back here like this this is a this is a heavy caliber 300 300 magnum rifle the rifle is going to have a bit of a bit of jump it's going to jump perhaps depending on what it is what the load is might jump in the front end slightly up off the, the bag and so you've got your head down here behind this rifle scope and the rifle jumps that gives it somewhat of an ability to maybe fact your you know smack you right in the forehead kind of what's kind of called a weatherby eyebrow you know and i've had a few of those over the years shooting thousands and thousands of rifles at the bench this I discovered many years ago is fine for shooting small caliber bench rest rifles. If you want to use this stance, that's fine. This is what the bench rest crowd uses. Basically this stance to basically squeeze this rear bag or, or let up on the squeeze or whatever. I haven't used this approach for most of my shooting for, you know, somewhere in the neighborhood of about 57, 58 years. I discovered long ago and if I take my hand and put it right up here on the rifle scope, this increases the steadiness considerably, much more so than if my hand is back there because I've got control here at the pistol grip, I've got control here with the fore part of the rifle, I've got a long bag, a long big V for this rifle to set down in. This eliminates this left and right wiggle and if you put your hand over the scope here like this, get down here behind it and get on the target, get your get your your cheek firmly planted onto the stock and line up the reticle on the target, you can get virtually a dead hold. Virtually a dead hold. The only thing that's going on is some heartbeat. You got some heartbeat. You got a real dead hold. You got that that heartbeat going on, your breathing is, is constant, you can shoot groups so much better with this method of benching your rifle than you can what I've described here at the forefront. And it doesn't make any difference what the caliber is. This is one of the best ways to bench rest your rifle and get the best accuracy out of your rifle and it works. It's worked for me. It's worked for me for my whole lifetime. And I have friends that I've, I've pointed this out to. They've been doing it for years and years and years. I know people that do it, did it. I never told them to do it, but I've learned just in conversation with them that that's also what they've done because they've discovered that it works also. So we can kind of dispel the fact that we've got to have the hand back here. It looks pretty in the gun magazine. But I've always been one of these guys, I don't necessarily, you know, roll with, roll with the flow. I figured out that there's sometimes better ways to do things, and this is, this is a better way. Just like this, folks. <laughs>